watermarked. Now what? What does our Christian life look like now that Christ has claimed us in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit and washed our sins away in this water? Well, it looks like this. It looks like an entire life of being connected to the cross of Christ for your forgiveness. Right away in Sunday school, we hear God's word preached to us with Jesus at the center. In confirmation, we learn of those six chief foundational parts for us to build upon. The Ten Commandments, all those laws, we don't think they're good. God says they're good, and they're good because God has a gift for us. In the midst of that law to keep us from running astray, God gives us a promise of a Savior. He gives us a promise that though we can't keep the law, he sends Jesus and he does it for us. He forgives us. All of the Ten Commandments, all of the six chief parts, all swirl around how God is going to deliver his good gifts to us. From there, we move into worship. We gather in worship, and once again, our identity is clear in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as we start. And there we receive, again, a confirmation of our identity in Christ. We hear those words so that we are bold enough to stand before a holy and a righteous God and say, I've done it again. In thought, word, in deed, I've sinned. I've lived like you didn't exist. And out of that great relationship that God has with us through baptism, he forgives you through your pastor. Your pastor preaches God's word to you into your ears so that you hear good news of Jesus on the cross dead and alive again for you, for your forgiveness. The pastor there in the front has the great gift of giving you Jesus in his very true body and blood. Take and eat, this is my body. Take and drink, this is the cup of the new covenant given and shed for you, for the forgiveness of sins. Do You see, the teaching is all about Jesus and forgiveness. The worship service is all about Jesus and forgiveness. And then there's this great gift that we have in case your sins really are bothering you, of private confession absolution, where your pastor hears your sins and he gives you Jesus directly to you for that sin, the promise that your Savior died on the cross and you are forgiven. And then in a short, just a short period of time, we talk about what does it mean now to live this way? Well, it means loving God and loving my neighbor. And here, here is a short, short way to remember that. We come together with somebody who has hurt us, and we start off with, I love you. We confess, I'm sorry. We remember who we are in baptism. Please forgive me. They reciprocate, and they say, you're forgiven. And we end where we started with, I love you. Do you see, dear saints, it's that easy. That's the Christian life. Loving God, loving your neighbor, that all starts in baptism where God makes us his own, gives us an identity that the world cannot change, and continues to give us his gifts so that we can live in his mercy and in his peace. That is the watermarked life. That's the sanctified life. Thank you for watching Higher Things Video Shorts. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell icon for content notifications. You can follow Higher Things on social media and on our website, higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing, we ask that you remember us in your prayers and donations.